Hello everyone, I am Vijay Lakshmi from Informatica Technical Support. I am here to present a video KB on automating merge tasks and its creation and assignment in IDD. So the agenda here is basically what are all the types of IDD merge tasks and the prerequisites before automating the IDD merge tasks and a demo of how do you automate the merge task creation in IDD and certain points to note when you implement this automating IDD merge tasks. Basically there are two types of merge task creation in IDD. One is manual merge task creation and the other is automatic merge task creation. Manual merge task creation comes into picture when you select find merge candidates option in IDD or when you select potential matches and manually merge records in IDD. Automatic merge task creation comes into picture when you enable a property in a CMX server dot properties file. So after enabling that property, an auto task assignment daemon will be running as a background process which will check for every configured minutes whether there are any tasks that needs to be created and whether those tasks needs to be assigned to the configured users automatically. So there are certain prerequisites that needs to be met when you implement this merge task creation automatically. First prerequisite is state management must be enabled. How do we enable that state management? In the hub console, I have created a customer BO. So under this BO, advanced properties, you have to enable the state management by checking this option. So after this, save the BO. So this is the first prerequisite. The next prerequisite is manual merge rule in hub. You have to define a manual merge rule in the hub console for the corresponding BO. Under match merge setup, you have to make sure that you have a manual merge rule defined here that is which has the auto value as no. This is a second prerequisite. The, th the third prerequisite is enabling the auto task assignment daemon. So how do we enable this daemon? So under this location, hub server and resources, you will find the cmx server dot properties file. So in this file, there is a property that needs to be enabled. So this is a property, zip task assignment interval. By default, this property will have the value 0. The value here denotes the number of minutes. So when you configure it to 1 minute, it means that the task assignment daemon will run every 1 minute and check if there are any tasks that needs to be created. And uh, this is another property which will mention maximum number of tasks that can be assigned to each user automatically. So in my case I have 25 tasks that can be assigned to each user at a maximum level. So this is a property that needs to be enabled in the CMX server dot properties file. The next prerequisite is SAM configuration. So before moving on to SAM configuration, let me show you my IDD applications configurations subject area groups that I defined. So this is my IDD application in the configuration tool. Under this, I have a subject area group called test customer. And this subject area group has a subject area called test customer SA. So this is my configuration in IDD. Based on the IDD configuration subject areas and everything, I have created a user in hub console, user1 and I have created another role called test customer and I have assigned the role test customer to the user, user1 and in the roles tab, you have to provide certain privileges that needs to be enabled for the merge task to be created automatically. The there are three parts. The first part is you have to enable the privileges for the BO and the match rule sets of the BO. So I have enabled all the privileges read, create, merge and execute privileges for the BO and the match rule sets. The next part is you have to enable the privileges for the subject area. So my subject area is test customer SA. I have enabled read, create, update, merge and execute privileges for the test customer SA subject area. 
the third part is you have to enable privileges for the task type related to the subject area so i wanted merge task to be created for the subject area test customer sa so under the subject areas task type i have enabled read create merge and execute privileges for the merge task you have to save this so this is the sam configuration that needs to be done in hub console the next configuration is idd task configuration so in idd under subject area you have to edit the subject area under task assignment tab i have defined the user 1 to the task merge task you can either define the role or the user whichever you have configured so this is the next prerequisite the next prerequisite is you need to run the match job in the hub console so under batch viewer you need to run the match job so in my case i have two match records so let's check in the database so this is my bo that i have and this is my match table which has two matched pair records created the moment you run the match job you will find the manual merge tasks created in the c repos task assignment table based on the interval that you define there so this these are all the manual merge record manual merge task created automatically after you run the match job manual merge of 1 into 2 and manual merge of 3 into 4 so let's see these tasks in idd i'm clicking on the idd application and i am logging in as the newly configured user so here in the dashboard you will find the newly created merge tasks and also in the inbox under the tasks tab you will find the newly created merge tasks so i am opening one of the tasks here so when you open this task you have four options here one is not a match merge compare and then queue for merge so let's see each of the options so let's first merge the records 3 and 4 i'm clicking on merge here you can edit the values that you have defined here when you click on this uh, look up you will find this values trust score defined for each of the records so i'm clicking on complete merge so here you can find 3 and 4 records got merged and the base record is 4 when you click on cross reference view you can see the merged records present here and in the database in the c repos task assignment table you will find the merged task 3 into 4 deleted from this table and in the c repos task assignment his table you will find the manual merge of 3 into 4 task moved and the status would be closed since we merged the records and the match table entry will be deleted for the 3 and 4 now let's check for the other options that are available in the merge task i'm opening the other task that is created here when you click on compare this will compare the two records and you can also see the matched attributes so this is a pop up that comes here you can either add the records to the merge list and uh, after adding it to the merge list you can go for queue for merging or merging or creating a task on it when you say show matched attributes this will show the let me show you the show match attributes option so when you want to see which columns matched exactly you can select this show matched attributes which will highlight the matched attributes column and the next option is not a match when you make it as not a match this entry will be deleted from this view and the entry that is present in the match table will also be deleted 
and this will be present as a separate record in the BO. When you go for Q for merge, the auto merge indicator for the selected record will be moved to 1. So let's check in the DB. I have merged, I have made this record as auto merge. So this match pair will go for auto merge job. So auto merge indicator will be set to 1 for this match pair. And in the history table, you will find this manual merge of 1 into 2 task moved to obsolete status. And in the C-Repose task assignment table, the entry will be removed. So let's see the customer BO. Here, 3 and 4 got merged. So 4 record, record number 4 is not here. And it is merged with the record 3. And 1 and 2 are set for auto merging. And this 5 is not a match. So it is not at all considered. So this is how the merge tasks are automatically created in IDD. So let's see some important points to note when you implement this feature. The first thing is after enabling the auto task assignment property in the CMX server dot properties file, you need to restart the server. Next point to note is your SAM configuration must match with the IDD configuration. In a sense, the SAM privileges that you gave in hub console must match the IDD configurations user and role and the task type that you defined there in IDD. Next thing is your resources must be configured secure in the sense let me show you. In the MDM hub under secure resources all your base objects custom resources and the match rule sets and everything must be in a secure state so that these objects are visible to IDD. Next point to note is when you say Q for merge, the DB will remove the record from potential matches and uh, auto merge indicator for the corresponding record in the match table will be set to 1 and the history status will be obsolete in the ta C repose task assignment history table and uh, the task is removed from the C repose task assignment table. When you say it as not a match, the record is removed from the C repose task assignment table and the C repose BO's match table. When you say it as merge, the records are merged based on the trust that you have defined and the records are removed from the match table and the records are removed from the C repose task assignment table and it is moved to the history table which is C repose task assignment hist with the status as closed. You can refer IDD implementation guide for this implementation of auto merge task creation and uh, there are KB articles available. You can also refer the, to these KB articles which will help you configuring the automatic task assignment merge task creation in IDD. Thank you for listening to this video KB. We would love to hear from you about the feedback about this video KB. Please go to these links and provide us the feedback which will help us serve you better. Thank you.